two decades in the music business playing for such incredible talent as Jeff Beck, Prince, Shaka Khan, Larry Graham, the list goes on. We at Exotic here are extremely honored to welcome to the family Miss Rhonda Smith. Welcome aboard, girl. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having me. Part, part of our, of our <laughs> world as well. And uh, we're here to talk about your gear, uh, the instrument that you use, and the music that you make with it. You come from a very musical family. Why the bass with all the possibilities? We were four kids very close-knit, and I have one brother who is about 15 months older than me, and we were very competitive when we were probably about 12, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And he brought a bass home one day and told me not to touch it, so there oh, it started. The he closed the it. case and said, don't touch it. So he's haunted with that, you know, always, ever That's since. Wonderful. He has Do you to get live to it play down. with them at all? Do they still play? Everybody in my family still plays, but my, my that brother in particular doesn't play uh, professionally as his, mm -hmm. as his only uh, way of, of making it through life. You must have some incredibly musical family gatherings. I do, I do. We have That's some fun. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, how did you discover the exotic bass that you're playing here? You know, you guys got in touch with me and invited me to just come and take a look at it. And I really... I really loved everything about it. At first, I thought it was a little too big for me because I have small hands. But um, I got used to it, and I love the strength of the neck especially. It can take a beating, which is important for me. It can get slammed around a lot, and it still sounds great. It's great. Um, Works great funk. <laughs> it's a great funk bass, and that's that's what I look for uh, first and foremost. Something like I said that I can um, slap, and it and it keeps its uh, it keeps its tone. A lot of tone possibilities with this bass, which is really great, which I really liked about it at first. Um, I love the type of preamp that uh, you guys have put together because it enables you to get. Um, a great bass sound first without even using the Trilogic Pre that I like, regardless of the amp that you're using, which is really important. Because we don't always get to use the amps that we want to have. And we don't always have a lot of time. So this is really easy, I think, to dial up a sound that you really like, and then you can add, you can add more booty and stuff in the end, if you want to call it that. It's a great, it's a great bass. And you make it sound like and with, and with one turn of a knob, have a great, have a great sound all the way around. So I'm very, very satisfied with it. A lot of people might not know that you're a rock player, that you've got, you got big rock roots. I, those are my roots. I grew up with rock, yeah. absolutely. Rush, and funky. mahogany, rush, all that stuff is what I did first. They didn't have a lot of funk in Canada. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> back yeah, then. Right so that on. was a secondary thing. But yeah, rock and roll. Rock and roll is what I grew up on. Right on, right on. The real roots of music. That's fantastic. Well, that's, we're also here to talk about your new project, which tentatively, RS3, the Randy Smith group with Karma Deuce. Looking forward to that. You're going to be using this bass on those tracks as well? I am. I've already used it on two of the tracks in the studio, which is really, um, <sighs> the bass tells the truth straight in you know right. sometimes an amp is different but when you're going straight into the studio I'm using Pro Tools when I'm going straight in maybe just using um, one pre maybe a, a Avalon U5 or uh, a focus right or something like that the bass doesn't lie there's not a lot in between not it and I'm not using it. a lot of plugins mm -hmm. so I was really impressed um, with just the intrinsic sound of the bass as opposed A, B, and C to other basses that I had. Whether the strings were brand new or not, it didn't really matter. It really had a nice a nice kick to it, and it was easy to play. You're a maple girl, huh? I'm a maple girl for, yeah. I mean, for fretless, I play a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. For fretless, I, you know, I love rosewood. Absolutely wouldn't do that that way, but um, for thumb, yeah, definitely. I think that's that's where I've come over the years. Fantastic. Yeah. How long have you been uh, coming to terms with this bass now? A couple months? A couple months, couple months yeah, huh? a couple months. That's fantastic. And, That's it's, fantastic. Got, and it's got really comfortable. Um, I love the way that these pickups are with the, uh, the, little, thumb the little thumb rest. Isn't that nice? First Very I wasn't thoughtful. sure, but it really, it really works. It really works. Good to hear you say. And um, I've decided to go with the gauge that you guys, your, your builders have originally put on this base. 
um, which is 45, 65, 80, 100. I used to do 45, 65, 85, 105. 105. And I, that's what I strung this bass with when I first got it. And I see you also, the, grid, the bridge is great. You, you, you've got the option to go uh, through the body. But um, when I put the higher strings on it, it was a little too tight at first. And that was another reason I wasn't sure about the bass. So I went back to uh, your original gauge, the way it's set up, and it really, it really responds well. It feels right, it doesn't feel light. And the neck is responsive, the strings are responsive. I mean, it's just great. It's been, You're it's been great. You're an aggressive player. You know? Well, you know, sometimes I do play hard in that particular style, and mm -hmm. uh, it was put to the test through some amps. Um, I went out of the country to do something in the last minute, and through some amps that, uh, I don't want to mention any names, but were not necessarily my first choice. Amp du jour? Yeah. Yeah. And Life on the road. <laughs> the way that the pre is set up, man, you can make this thing work anywhere. That's what's great about it for me. That's fantastic. We look forward to some of the cuts that you're going to be using it on in the new record. Definitely. That's for sure. When are we expecting that new record to come out? In a perfect world, maybe before the end of the year. That sure. would be lovely. You Any know? chance of working behind it? Seeing you on the road? We'd love to. That is the goal. That's we the want goal? to get back on the road with Rhonda, Rhonda Smith and Karma Deuce. Definitely. That's, we, we love playing together. That's what we want to do. When you have the time. We want to make the time. So, I mean, that That's would excellent. be great. That would be great. In between the likes of Jeff Beck and Patrice <laughs> Russian and your own gig and anyone else who calls and and needs the best that's fantastic well you know that's the great thing about music if you're lucky enough you know and i have been so blessed you know to be able to have a variety that's what makes stuff real nice i think well it's it's and that's that's why we appreciate so much you joining the family in this regard because you're using the bass so versatilely for lack of a better word you put it through its paces in a number of genres of music, and, and that's what this instrument needs to prove most to players, I would think. Well, I tell you what, it's a great bass, and I don't believe that anybody would try it and probably not give you the same reaction. I wasn't as aware of you guys as I probably should have been, but I'm very happy to know about it now. There's Again, a lot I of think cats it's out a, there that are making great. stuff. You know, you can always you can always find someone trying to do something different, but not necessarily someone doing something well. That's true. And that's, that's and, true. I, and we really appreciate the fact that you've kind of vibed off. Of well, that. you got some beautiful features, and not, not a lot of uh, people, you know, uh, necessarily go to. It, it looks beautiful, first of all. It's a great it's looking, looking bass. Instrument. You made some really nice uh, wood and color combinations, I think. Mm -hmm. Pickups are beautiful. The pre is great, the bridge is fantastic, and you know, the Luminova markers, what a great touch. 21st century. <laughs> so when you get blacked sense. out and I have stumbled into many things in the dark, I will not be stumbling off the board or maybe it can guide me through the dark actually. Maybe there you I could go. use it as a flashlight or something. Exactly, get off the stage safely. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk a few minutes about your RS3 project. 